Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Mario & Luigi Partners in Time. In the last episode, we got into the Coliseum and saw Princess Peach get eaten by the monstrous Petty Piranha, who is somehow working for the Shroobs all of a sudden. In this episode, we have made our way into the underground and are trying to find her to see if we could uh, see, save her life or something like that. And I like how we bounced the Babam up, but then he landed on top of us, so we couldn't do the first strike, which is kind of lame. But what ifs? We will defeat them anyway because we are amazing at killing Babams and very basic enemies in general. We are good at that sort of thing, I would like to say. This is a very crummy way to start this episode, but it's even worse by the fact that I am acknowledging it as such. Maybe you thought it was ingenious and I shouldn't uh, ruin the experience for you. In that case, let's keep on going. But not until we get a level up for Baby Mario! Uh, let's see what we got here. Looking pretty good. That looks really good. Okay, uh, that looks really, really good. Let's try offense. I'm gonna regret this. I, I already sense it. God darn it, I knew it. I sense it, I'd do it anyway, because I can never back out. <sighs> Baby Luigi, what do you got? Boom, that looks really good. Okay, that looks really Let's go with defense. Two, great. Sure. I'm just gonna keep on going. I'm always gonna feel crummy with all these level ups. Except with the good ones, I'm like, I think oh, every time I get a good one, I'm like, oh yeah, it's a good one. But with the bad ones, I'm like, I never get good ones. <laughs> I feel like I'm a super sore loser. I was like, recording Smash Ultimate matches with is nomadic, and like, I don't know, I don't entirely like my super competitive side, but I guess it's funny for some people to see, it's like, wow, I didn't think Midnight could get so angry or competitive about something. Like uh, yeah, I guess, but I don't know, I kind of like being happy pappy and just not a care in the world, but like, I guess that never really was me to begin with, but just like people's interpretation of me, so, I don't know, it's just interesting when you pick apart people's personalities, like, to see what they're like when they're on their own, it's like, everyone has like a different mindset or different like mode, it's just like, when how they act when they're in their own videos by themselves, how they act when they're uh, recording with other people, how they act when they're in person, and how they act when uh, they're in person with other people, I don't know. It's just a weird little thing I can notice, like, not, not to say, like, any one of them is, like, real or fake or anything like that, it's just, like, different levels of confidence or different, like, moods or personalities, I guess, because the Dream Diary personality is, uh, still part of me, and the, uh, Let's Play part of me is still real and stuff, and the unboxing video, I guess, if that has a personality to it, that's different from everything else, then there's that, too, I suppose, but, yeah, I guess it's just weird to see, uh, all the different sides of people, I guess. Uh, but yeah, oh, that's super awkward. Uh, fly over. No, balls in a ball sack. Okay, go. Ah, balls. Once more with feeling. And by feeling, I mean with cheating because I know what I'm supposed to do now. Just jump through that one. Keep on farting because I have to acknowledge that sort of thing. Fly over here. And roll, roll, roll. And we are good. Lock that down. And we got a special jingle this time. Jeez, that was a sneeze. Why did the stinking ball racing maze through the desert get a special jingle? Come again, son. You passed that what now? Speed test? What? I gotta recognize y'all as cave speed demons. Uh, gorge. Well, shucks. This is sort of embarrassing. As I get older, things start not working like they used to. Like my memory. Can't recall nothing. Getting old stinks. Okay, I wonder if he was said something different if we talked to him beforehand. Now we'll never know. Oh no, how sad. But the sneeze again! Oh jeez. Oh god. No! Man, I'm beyond wor worst sneezer and weirdest sneezer of 2018. Oh god. Uh, let's roll over here, because we did see some items along the way. We got ourselves. Ooh, we got a lot of coins in here. And then this one we got. Big defense badge. I assume that has something to do with defense. Uh, big defense badge. Get a great one using an attack item and temporarily boost defense. Okay. So it's kind of like with a big pal badge, but with defense. Who would have thought? I never would have guessed. In a million bajillion years. Now yeah, that's in care. Let's just roll on over here. Please don't make me get the babies. Thank you. And this looks very similar to the area we were previously in, but hey, these war pipes can actually go in them. So we can go down, get some enemies, and get another hundred coin, because they always put the hundred coins underground, because they were really proud of that animation or that 
segue from the top screen to the bottom screen of having a coin pop out or something like that. I guess that's what they were going for. We got two of these guys, the Snifero. I guess we could uh, take a moment to see what they're all about a bit more if we can. And we got rid of one of them, but still got one. Uh, he's gonna just rise over the other. I think we already saw both of his attacks they could do. I assume the swirl shows you what enemy, he, which character he's gonna go towards. But again, just like with most en enemies, you can just jump with both bros and be totally fine. Okay, nothing else over here. No, we can't go through here, unfortunately. Go attack this purple boo. Head on in this pipe now, and we get ourselves. So, MG, it's not even funny at this point. Just keep on getting 100 coins. Kind of wish there was a bit more variety at this point. Like, you, I didn't think I'd see the day where I was annoyed that I was getting 100 coins all at once. But, lo and behold, here we are. Uh, nothing else over here. I thought, uh, yeah, we see two more enemies. So, let's get rid of them. Got all them taken care of. And got no level ups, unfortunately. But, we got experience nonetheless. It's a level up in progress. I guess that's one way of looking at it. And I guess it's also the truth. I don't know. Just trying to sound positive in places that I don't really need to encourage you all to think positively about because it's pretty obvious. And hello! New enemy! Hooray! Segway! Forget about whatever the heck I was talking about before. We got an elite boom guy. Just like the regular boom guy, but now he's blue! And his attacks are quicker. Pretty much all they ever do with these new enemies is just make them a lot quicker and do more damage. And of course, give them a new design or new color. I like me a blue shy guy. That's a cool little color, I guess. But still nothing super interesting. Uh, we got bro flowers, five of them to be exact. And hello! Uh, in case you're wondering, it's not like the bullet bill blasters in Paper Mario. You can't just keep on jumping on bullet bills to get infinite experience. Get rid of a bullet bill, then you get rid of the blaster as well. So I guess that's the way of keeping the game keeping you from uh, getting a bajillion experience all in one area. Though the higher your level gets, the less experience it's going to be, be worth for you. So, I guess it uh, would be super great in the long run, but I guess you can also just leave the area and come back to respawn enemies, so it's not entirely out of the ordinary to just level grind. I guess I don't even know what the heck I'm trying to say. I don't know. I'm trying to like, make strategy in places that there's not really a good strategy, or I'm not actually giving good strategy tips, and then also it's just non nonsensical nonsense, so I should just stop. <laughs> Midnight and Beyond 2019, just stop. Editing power, thy name is Midnight. Got ourselves three cannonballers. Love me some cannonballers. Uh, anything else down here? We got, oh god, more stinking enemies. I guess I could talk about something else I've been playing. I finally beat Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. I wanna go with the Eevee version. I thought I was gonna go with Pikachu, but then I got like a last second idea thinking that like how um, I could have... Eevee was technically my first Pokemon because my first Pokemon game was XD and I played it at a friend's house but I didn't actually own it but my first one I actually owned was Fire Red so I had the idea of uh, having the Eevee version and then using my Fire Red team to like sort of a reunion of all my first Pokemon and stuff and you could sort of have a team of seven even though Pikachu and Eevee are traveling with you at all times if you don't have them in the party they're still with you and they travel with you during cutscenes and stuff but you could still have a team of six which is really cool uh, Luigi gets a level up, speaking of cool, uh, let's see, there's no time over here, we talk about Luigi being cool. Uh, speed looks really good, HP is more important to me, thank you, plus six. Don't have to have regrets. But yeah, I wound up using my original Fire Red team, part of me was like, kind of regretting it though, because I kind of wanted to use a different team. I, that's just a problem I have with like, I very rarely let a uh, replay Pokemon games, because like, they don't have more than one save file, so very rarely I have the chance to replay them. But, um, I very rarely replay them, and I end up just... Okay, cat, you want to come out of the sinking box now? Cool. Um, every time I replay them, it's just like... Uh, it was for the Let's Play or whatever, so I end up using the original team again. And very rarely I get to experience what it's like to use different Pokemon, so... I don't know, I kind of regretted it. Like, I had some different moves on my team, but that was about it, really. It wasn't really all that exciting, because I am so familiar with these guys, and I know what their moves are going to be like. And it's not the most well-built team in general, General, my Fire Red team, in case you saw that Let's Play way back in the day. We got another big POW badge. Uh, is it another big POW badge? Is that what I got? Uh, yes it is. So I didn't need to buy either of them, apparently. Hooray for wasting money, even though money is super abundant in this game. Uh, but yeah, after I beat the game, I just uh, went ahead and switched my team to like an all-ride Pokemon team, because I still kind of love that you could ride Pokemon in that game. 
Oh my god. It's like, even though Let's Go Pokemon uh, was a hit and miss for a lot of people, I really hope some of its features get implemented into the main Gen 8 games. Mainly, the ability to ride Pokemon, the ability to have Pokemon walk out on the field with you, and having stinking... Uh, what's it called? Having... Uh, po wild Pokemon appear on the field instead of just having grass be a super danger zone at all times. That is what I stink and want because, like, not only does it make the world seem a lot more lively to actually have the Pokemon on screen instead of just uh, like magically appearing in random grass, like, it just makes it so much more easy and like convenient. I did not use a single stinking repel in that game because it was easy to just avoid Pokemon if I didn't want to fight them, and like. Most of the time, you would want to fight them if you see, like, one that you want and one that, like, is super strong. Or they actually show shinies on the field, which is really cool. And it's just, it makes it so much more convenient and cool and, like, immersive and everything. So I really hope that that gets implemented in Gen 8 whenever uh, that comes out. I'm really excited for Gen 8. I'm always excited for Pokemon in general, but, like, I don't know. With the Switch game, after seeing that, I really hope that it just knocks it out of the park. I don't want them to have the same art style i feel like we're gonna get that but like i don't know pokemon go is like a specific art style i kind of wish it gets changed up a little bit when gen 8 comes around because like the humans are kind of like chibi in a way and i kind of don't like that i like how in sun and moon all the characters are like a lot uh lankier and like they look older and like uh like a lot more realistic and stuff it just felt very unfamiliar but with like this chibiness to them i don't know just like uh, in Let's Go, I kind of didn't like it, so I hope Gen 8 has a lot, a much different art style. And something that, because like, in Pokemon Go, uh, Professor Willow and the three uh, team leaders, they all have uh, realistic, like, lanky proportions or whatever, but in Let's Go, they don't have that. And that's sort of a thing with uh, Let's Go. I was really hoping that, oh, 69 HP, I was really hoping that the three leaders appeared in that game, Candela, Blanche, and uh spark because i love those characters so singing much i love like all the fan art that was made for them uh when pokemon go first released because there was so much stinking fan art and stories of the three of them and like i it looked really stinking cool and i went up loving those characters a lot more than i would have just on my own and i was really hoping that they would get implemented into let's go but that they just don't appear which is kind of unfortunate uh, but yeah, I love the singing ride Pokemon. I love how like nonsensical some of them are. Like how you could ride Haunter but not Gengar, and yet Haunter's like singing massive in that game. I don't know why that is, but whatever. Uh, it's just singing hilarious and amazing, and I love it so much. And Kangaskhan, how like you, uh, your partner Pokemon, either Pikachu or even they go into the pouch along with the baby. It looks so singing cute. Oh my gosh, I singing love the ride Pokemon. I really hope that gets brought back in uh, the next uh, Pokemon game. It probably will. I, I really hope it does. And like, just also having Pokemon travel with you. It just, I love it so, so stinking much. Oh uh, boy. Okay, now that's taken care of. Get the bean out here. And keep on going. Got anything else around here? Yeah, we got one more enemy. Of course. Luigi's running a bit low on HP. Kind of want to let him die, to be perfectly honest. Just so Mario could have one fight where he wins without him. Just so I could even out the EXP again between them, but it won't be perfectly even, so I guess I shouldn't even bother. Uh, I don't know, just gonna keep on going. Uh, we're almost out of here, it seems. Let's just go down here. And we got another one of these roly poly things. These roly poly holy. Uh, babies, what do you got up here? You got a bean spot, which is always nice. I know I remember this, so. Uh, what we gotta do is get the bros over here to move this around and they just sort of make it so this thing is powered on and we can access these things. Kind of like a reverse mode of the babies hitting that button and having the big bros go on those on these moving platforms above the spikes, but uh, what the fruit? Three, two, one. What does that mean? Uh, it just makes it faster or something? I don't know. Uh, hit that. Oh, that's unfortunate. So I guess you could have the bros stop if you want them to just, like, make it a bit slower for you. Okay, it's a bit easier this time around. Uh, go on here. God diggity darn it. I think you need to hit all those coin blocks in order to advance. I think that's what that number was about. Uh, I was going to try and see if I could cheat it, but no, apparently not. Uh, let's jump on this. And this. And this. Oh, balls. Another tactic is to just do that, I guess. Oh, 
Okay. Uh, hit that if I can. Come on. Hit that block. Hit that block. There you go. Two to one. Jump across. And there you go. It was actually required. How wonderful. Uh, let's see. Anything else down here, babies? Doesn't look like it. So we're going to fly across. Fly across again. And convenient pipe block is convenient. Get the babies. Keep on a going. We're almost to the end of this area. Should we end the episode off? Uh, we'll keep on going. I just want to see what the third area looks like. Maybe it's actually kind of short, so I can just combine the two. Only well, 20 minutes this time, so considering everything that I've cut out, it might actually work for me. Hmm. What a niche concept. Stuff actually working in the way I think it's going to work. I was like, I was trying to compare other people's LPs when, like, preparing mine be like okay this person got this lp done in like 10 episodes so i'm gonna try and do it in five episodes magically even though i have no prep time I'm just sort of checking like to see what areas of the game they're on and what episode and yay luigi's dead oh no how horrible and oh i accidentally forgot to bring him back to life how tragic i think ouch that would be really bad actually if baby luigi died so let's get some pocket chomps up in here uh, if you're wondering how this works when we are missing a bro, uh, Baby Luigi takes the place, and I guess it's just gonna switch between that. Can we not, do we not have Mario? It's just the babies? That's kind of weird. But yeah, I always, like, look at other people's LPs to see how their progress is like, and I somehow try to make it- Oh, I don't know why I did that. Okay, so sometimes it could be- if Mario does it, then Baby Mario could do the thing, but, like, we just kind of game Baby Luigi, so I was confused. Okay, there you go. The experience and uh 8320 8326 okay pretty even now see it all worked out and of course mario's just a little bit ahead because he's mario so it's all good uh that looks pretty good defense is also looking really good uh, i know we have a uh, stash actually really really bad uh go defense six yes baby luigi we got ourselves uh good looking hp Good looking attack. Good looking defense. Really good looking defense, actually. And speed is looking really good. Yes, plus six. Okay, cool. Alright, Luigi. Now that that's taken care of, I'll give you your healing. And we are finally out of mushrooms. They really last a long stick in time, considering, like, how long ago we've gotten them. Like, they still are useful to this day. Like, I have not bought any healing items throughout this entire adventure. Uh, let's get that for you. Okay, we're, I think we're good for now. Like, I haven't bought healing items for this entire bunch. These are all just things we find in blocks, so they do a really good job of taking care of you, as long as you are good at managing your items and not using them all willy-nilly like. I imagine it would be different if you are just really bad at the action commands, but, or just bad at dodging, rather. But, I kind of like that when you think about it. This game's, like, all about dodging, and then the Paper Mario games could be more about, uh, timing, I guess? The uh, dodging's still important. Like, is it really, though? Because it's more about guarding. So, I guess I am right, sort of, but still it's good to get your action commands in this game. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. The Mario RPGs are very different. I like how that's something that you can't really say in, like, a broad spectrum. You can't, you have to specify, like, when you say, like, the Mario RPGs, are you talking about Mario and Luigi? Are you talking about the Paper Mario ones? Or are you talking about Super Mario RPG? Because they're all completely different. And Mario's stinking dead, which is unfortunate. So, oh, I bought those those one-ups from before. So, I guess I'm not completely, uh taken care of. I did buy some one-ups in the few episodes back. So we get rid of that guy. Uh, dodge that. Dodge this. And just go ahead and finish off this guy. There we go. Hey, maybe it was a shy guy who gave us that note from before because there are shy guys down here now, so it all connects and whatnot. Uh, this dude... And looks like we're good with this area, so if you go over here now, uh, there's another dude here, hooray! But more importantly, we got some items. We got super drops, and we got ourselves an ultra drop. Cool, cool, cool. Hey, we reached 10,000 experience, but it didn't reach us to another level up, so it doesn't really matter all that much, but it's cool to look at, I guess. Head on out here, and we got ourselves another warp pipe, which will lead us to presumably the final area, unless this place really wants to impress me and make this a four segment dungeon. Dungeon? 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 Like, dungeon and judgment. 
Uh, looks like we are pretty close to the end, so I'm gonna go ahead and heal real quick, because we have a save block and then a dead end. Gee, I wonder what that could possibly mean. Uh, looks like we're good. Hey, Mario's one HP missing. Oh, no, we're doomed. No, probably not. Uh, is there anything over here? Yes, we got some items. Three bros flowers. Three trampolines. As well as three green shells. And three pocket jumps. Very, very good. And one bean for the road. Why the heck not? Have a save block if you want to use it, but I'm recording, so I don't want to use it right now. I always knew those single coin blocks would get me into trouble one day! Bleh, tastes like waste of time. Also tastes like convenient plot device. It's time to face off against Petty Piranha, one of my favorite characters in Mario history. So let's see, he is just regular Petty Piranha, not a shroop version. He is just a villain who wants to cause trouble. So what are we going to do? We are going to use a trampoline, trampoline or cannonballer? Let's start with a cannonballer because part of me feels like he has a bit of defense up when he is up like this, so I don't want to do this quite yet. So let's just test it out real quick and try a cannonballer, see how much damage that does. Does X, Y, A, B. Uh, 1, 3, 4. Okay, so he doesn't have any extra defense right now. Good to know. He's gonna fly up here. He uses the two screens to his advantage a lot in, these, in this fight, from what I remember. There's a ground pound attack that does a lot of, like, shock waves and whatnot. But uh, what we're gonna do now is. Presumably, he'd be weak to. Oh, wait. He's flying. But wait. That means just use the babies. Okay, so we can actually hit him. And, okay, 78 is critical damage, so he is weak to that. Let's try the Ice Flower, see what that does. That is going to possibly lower stats. Very nice for a boss. Uh, 68. Uh, I can't tell because he's doing an attack animation. Lands on those blocks, does a little dive kick. Hello. Okay. What do you got? He has lowered attack and defense, which is very nice. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and use our trampoline now. I believe Petty Piranha is another boss that had its HP altered for the uh, different releases of this game, different regions and whatnot. I don't know if we got a tougher version or easier version, uh, but whatever it is, it's uh, told to you by Teresa because she does my job for me because I can never do it on my own. And I don't know why it's all just Mario and Luigi. I don't know where the heck the babies are right now. Okay, there you go. As soon as I acknowledge them, uh, they start a fallen. Okay, okay, okay. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Okay. Five or three. A lot of singing damage right there. Uh, I feel like we just gotta keep on using them. I don't know. I, sorry if it seems like sort of overpowered. I kind of want to see all those different attacks, but uh, I thought he would have shown it by now. Maybe he has like a second phase that I'm just not remembering. I don't think and know. I'm just gonna keep on doing it. Get two luckies in a row. Be really crazy if we got rid of him in this uh, segment. Ooh. Did not mean for that to rhyme. A lot of stinging luckies. I don't mind that one bit. Uh, boss. Uh, and oh, are you serious? He is not already dead. He is already dead. What the fruit? How is that possible? Like, there's an entire like different side of him that you didn't even get to see. Like. He sinks into the ground like he's just like a head sticking out. Like he'll do like a bunch of 
suction attacks. Like, he'll suck you in, like, quicksand. You gotta, like, keep on jumping to get out of it. Like, that was pathetic. My god. Is it seriously because, like, I have a high damage badges on, like, all the babies and Mario and so Like, that was really disappointing, actually. I'm kind of sad and let down. Part of me kind of wants to switch my badges around just so I don't have that in the future, but... Huh. Well, that was a thing, I guess. And he exploded and left behind a third Cobalt Star Shard. Very, very nice. And sorry for cutting off that jingle. Ow, 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 ow. Wild man, not good, but good. Hope them camera's not broken. Hey, man, it's my whisker boys. Did you KO that overgrown veggie? Good deal. When that got the got clown started dying, I thought that was a big, big, big sleep for sure. So give Ellis to that big, big, that big love that, that, that have the shard. Why's the bees knees? The bees knees. Is that a spark of light enough to feel? Yikes! Inside the crystal, something was like a little bag of me, fellas. Ah, I must be off my trial. I need to go quick snoozer. Snoozer, I just met her. Come on, when else am I ever gonna be able to use the word snoozer in an I just met her joke? Anyway, what gives us whiskers? What are you gonna do with that? We're gonna get all those bobbles together. You know, quite many of my groups, we got to make the gold copy. No doubt about that. Gonna see the boss out of this is game thing. It's gonna lead to the top of everybody I've ever, ever done. That's right, guys. Good gloom down the little shrooms are happening with the aliens. Bob has grabbed me. And the other thing, thing, Peter, I think it's the key to something inside the shrooms through both the ship. Who knows what this beauty looking gun do? We're driving through a keyhole. It's Mr. All right. But let's get better. Let's stay with the monster and last monster. Let's keep it to the stop at the princess, boys. Oh, you want to go over there and know if it's not princess Peach tonight? Probably in Pepper Pants, Billy? Oh, yeah. Believe it, fellas. Prison Beach was in there. But when I got a bug, I got an A, she got spit out, licking the split. Mama mia. I was all set for the exclusive video today, too, raspberries. My man, pretty man, I'm sure she locked up in the cave somewhere. I suggest you fellas give your paper paper for her. That's me, I'm gonna try and make both that key to use. But it means I have time for me to stay so long. Good luck, whiskers. Oh yeah, I owe you one. How does that voice even exist? Oh my god, like, I was not expecting that to be so stinking easy. Like, I know I'm good at dodging and whatnot, but like, the power, the absolute power, it was overwhelming. Part of me kind of wants to get rid of some of my badges so that I'm not as overpowered, but wow. That was really disappointing that ended so quickly. Maybe I should just limit myself to like one or two bros items per fight, but then that's lame. I don't know. I don't think I know what I'm supposed to do. Cause like I'd never use the bros items in regular battles. Maybe I should just only use them in regular battles from now on then don't use it in boss fights. I have no stinking idea. Uh, but anyway, we have no idea where Peach is supposed to be. And uh, Mario? Well, I guess that solved that. Could, could it be? Is that you, Mario? Speed running tactics because we need to save Peach ASAP, apparently. Mm. 